things have happened. Because, you know, I don't know if you saw, I just got off, I'm coming off the plane, and they hand me, look at this character. Okay, they just hand me this story. Coup has started, whistleblower's attorney said, in 2017. You know when that was? That was a long time ago. It's all a hoax. They say January 2017, a coup has started, and the impeachment will follow, ultimately. It's all a, it's all a hoax. It's a scam. And you know who helps them? These people right back here, the media. And then it said, oops, the light's going to go off. The CNN light is going to go off. It said, from the lawyer, a sleazeball. It said, I predict at CNN will play a key role in at real Donald Trump. Not finishing out his first time. Can you believe this? This is a whole, and this was done a long time ago. Then he goes, as one falls, two more will take their place, referring to outgoing Trump administration employees, who, by the way, have been put through hell by the sleaze back there and by crooked politicians. I love how the left is always bragging about how smart they are. Really? If they were that smart, why would the whistle, uh, whistleblower's lawyer, Mark Zayed, actually say on a tweet just 10 days after Trump's inauguration in 2017, he actually said, as you see, just saw, a coup has started with impeachment ultimately to follow. So the next time... Uh, Chuck Todd or some other uh, figure in a mainstream media uh, talks about these uh, kooky conspiracy theories uh, concerning Trump. If the lawyer for the whistleblower is telling you, Chuck, you hearing it? A coup, a coup, a coup. Now, the thing that's really fantastic now is that the public is catching on to just how phony this whole impeachment. Uh, garbage is so uh, one one uh, test of this is in the polls let's take a look at today's today November 7th let's take a look at the poll of uh, of Trump's popularity and a Rasmussen uh, Rasmussen poll which by the way is one of the more accurate polls out there so take a look and with everything that the coup plotters have thrown at Donald Trump guess what it's not working. Here is a Rasmussen daily presidential tracking poll for today, November 7th. Here it is. The Rasmussen Reports daily presidential tracking poll brought to you by Cloud Hub for Thursday shows that 50% of likely voters approve of President Trump's job performance. 50%. Now, we all know from the experience of the last election, this really means more than that. And, of course, again, as far as we're in electoral college, that means a victory. Because if it's 50%, you're obviously going to get blue states overwhelming uh, for the Demo or, or, or more for the Democrats. So, uh, as far, but as far as the battleground states, this means actually much better than 50%. And keep in mind, this is before... Before we found out about the whistleblower or the so-called whistleblower's l lawyer calling uh, for a coup at January 30th, 2017, just 10 days after Trump was inaugurated. So keep in mind, this information uh, is uh, before, before the, the latest that we found out about the whistleblower's lawyer. I'm sure it'll go up even higher uh, once that sinks in, but basically this whole coup attempt, uh, what they call uh, an impeachment investigation, is uh, is boomeranging on them big time. So this is fantastic news for Donald Trump. Did you see that? 50%. And that's before we found out these tweets from the from the uh, uh, the impeachment uh, lawyer, the uh, well, the the whistleblower's lawyer. I mean, 
God, I can't get, get over how stupid he was. I mean, hey, stupid. Didn't you think that maybe you should be deleted, have deleted those tweets a long time ago? Especially the one talking about a coup? So, so that was before. Now, can you imagine a few days from now or next week sometime when it sinks in that this is all just a coup as admitted by the whistleblowers, a uh, whistleblower's lawyer? Oh, and uh, speaking of next week, I'll be on the high seas. In fact, uh, on a personal note here, this is my last video before I set off on my cruise to the Caribbean tomorrow, the Steve Kane radio show cruise. So I expect to have a good time. Uh, I'm going to try to be cut off from all the news. But here's the thing. If I get the green light, when I come back, I might ha I'll have an announcement that's extremely newsworthy. And it's going to make a lot of you happy very very happy and a few of you very sad and filled with angst and anger uh, but I'm sure most of you are gonna be happy when you hear my huge announcement when I come back from my cruise so I'm gonna enjoy myself for the next week and I I hope you will too so until then see you later And don't forget to hit that notification bell 